everybody, welcome in. I am so thrilled to be starting off some holiday related reviews here. A lot of gift sets are starting to appear on Ulta and Sephora's websites. I've purchased quite a few that have really intrigued me and it seems like at least for the past several years, my little warm up video usually involves the Bite set. Bite tends to put out a four piece lipstick set every year and it's usually one of the first things I try and one of the first things that I review for you guys. Well, in the midst of testing this out, I also had another lip set this one's from Too Faced. They're both $25. I got them both from Sephora. And this one's called The Sweet Smell of Christmas, and it is a liquid lipstick set, the Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I'm gonna tell you right now, the feedback in this video may surprise you if you know a lot about my um, lip color preferences. It's not really so much heavily disliking something in this video, but it's more about the surprising degree that I liked something else. That may just sum up the entire review right there for some of you. But yeah, it's kind of hard to believe that it's that time of year when everything's starting to come out. And I don't like to be that person who's trying to like pull in Christmas too soon, you know, because we haven't even had Halloween. But this is what happens with these holiday kits. They roll out around this time of year every year. And to be able to fit in a lot of reviews pre-holiday, um, this is kind of when it has to start for me. So I'm gonna be reviewing both of these sets for you today and giving you my take on them. I'm gonna be trying on everything in both of them. And the first one I wanna focus on is the Bite set. As I said, $25, and it's always $25 every year. They're very consistent. This is a four pack of their Amuse Bouche lipsticks. Instead of just having a solid red tin, see what they did this year? They've got like kind of a molded shape of the mini lipstick, and then you open it up. Here are your four lipsticks, the same mini size that you're used to if you've tried any of these sets before. This insert will come out so you can potentially use this little case for other things if you want to. It does have a magnetic closure. But the Amuse Bouche formula, just to talk about that first, I think this is one of the most comfortable formulas in the lipstick world. It's very smooth, it's very creamy, it has a luxurious feel going on your lips. These are all cream lipsticks, none of these are like matte finishes, none of these have any shimmer. They are just a traditional creamy lipstick. You'll notice maybe a little bit of a sheen to your lips, especially right after your fresh application, but not a lot. They're not like putting on a L'Oreal Color Riche Shine lipstick that practically looks like you've put on a gloss in one swipe, you know? It's not like that. You may know notice a little bit of dewiness on the lips right after you put them on, but with wear, it's going to come off not especially shiny. Just kind of a comfortable feeling and looking lip color. And so I've got a little rundown here of what was in these sets the last couple of years. And uh, 2016 and 2017, both of those sets contained a nude called Honeycomb. We don't have Honeycomb in this set. The most recent repeat in this new set is a color called Nori, and it's the darkest color in the mix. And that was not in last year's set, but in the one before that, in 2016 Nori was in that one, but that's the most recent repeated shade. But I truly am a big fan of the Bite lipstick formula, and if you've never tried it, I think this kit is a tremendous value. I always say, like, you want to snatch this up early on. It is one of the first things usually that comes out with the holiday lineup on Sephora's website, and I would encourage you to not wait on this, particularly if you're a lipstick fan and you haven't yet tried Bite, because if you are a big lipstick fan, you might own a lot of lipstick and therefore minis are great for you. If you own a lot of them, you may not even want to bring in a lot of new full-size lipsticks. But if you're looking to test the brand, this is awesome because these are all shades that exist in the regular line. And I really love when brands do that because then if you do fall in love with one of these, you can get the full size. And all of these shades stay really relevant even outside of the holiday time frame. you know? Now we're gonna go through shades and then maybe talk a little bit about the giftability of this, the wearability of it, so to speak, which is very subjective and maybe different for everyone but I'm gonna try all of them on for you. We can draw our own conclusions. The first shade, and I think the softest and most neutral shade in this bunch is called Date. This type of color tends to be in my definition of a dusty rose. It's like a soft kind of rich pink. It's the most, I would say, everyday wearable shade in this lineup. It's definitely your safe color in this mix. I feel like it's kind of an every woman's shade. I could see that looking good on just about anybody. Next up we have Saki, and this one is kind of a trendy type color, I feel. I don't have a lot of 
have this in my collection. It's like a cooler mauvey pink. It's like you've thrown in some berry in with a pink, but yet it's not too dark. I think it's a gorgeous color and I'm excited to get some wear out of this shade, but I'm finding that to be pretty unique. So it's kind of cool that was put into this mix and I think overall those first two are your lighter two, more wearable two of the bunch. Then things get a little more glamorous or maybe a lot more glamorous with tannin. And this is a shade that I think I've had in a mini somewhere along the line in the past, but it's a beautiful red and it seems like a really true rich red, maybe a slight bit deeper than what I describe as like a fire engine red color. And I think it's gorgeous. It's great to have a nice glam red going into the holiday season. And if you're a little nervous about wearing a red or really bold or dark shade in a creamy lipstick formula, just remember the power of a blot. Using a tissue and giving yourself a quick blot can instantly take away some of the moisture from the look and can really help everything hang on and stay put on your lips if that's a concern for you. I don't feel like Bite lipsticks have a real tendency to travel outside the lips anyway, but if you really want to remove any cause for concern, I think you might just blot it once. But that red is absolutely stunning compared to like the color of the packaging. It's kind of like a warm red. I feel like this is a little deeper and a little cooler. Then our final shade is Nori. And like I said, this is the one that's most recently been repeated in one of these sets. It was included in the 2016 kit. And it's a beautiful shade. I think of it as a really deep burgundy that also mixes in some brown as well. It's very intense. I feel I have to be pretty careful putting it on, not to keep from a, getting a streaky application or anything like that, but just to keep it neat around the lip line. I see some interesting, perhaps layering opportunities here. If you put the lightest shade in this kit, um, Date, if you put that all over your lips and then kind of worked in some nori around the outsides, you could do kind of a neat little ombre or layered type look. But ultimately guys, this is the shade lineup with the four little bites set. I think they did a really good job of making every shade totally different from the next. I think it's an awesome way to sample the line if you're not familiar with it. Wearability wise, I think that really depends on who you're gifting it to because I think there are a couple of shades here that might throw off the um, neutral or kind of soft nude lip lovers out there. It's kind of one of those like know your audience situations, know who you're gifting to as to whether you think that set's going to be a good idea. But just speaking to all y'all makeup consumers out there, Bite is most definitely one of my top creamy lipstick formulas. If you're not familiar, I think it's worth trying and I think this is an amazing value for $25. Nothing but love for Bite, just know that. But I gotta say, there is something really strangely and unexpectedly exciting me right now, and it is this Sweet Smell of Christmas liquid lipstick set from Too Faced. It is also a four pack of minis. It is also $25, and the shades, the theme, and the surprising quality of these melted mattes on my lips are just actually getting me super excited right now. Now, this melted matte line in general, I've had a few here and there. It's not been a line that I've tried like everything from or really dove into in a major way, but they're really not one of those terribly drying matte liquid lipsticks. I must say, and I'm coming off of a cold, I'm coming off of a dry lip situation, so I was shocked when I was wearing one of these yesterday, and I'm like, I don't even feel that uncomfortable. I mean, no, it's not creamy, emollient, like your lips are loaded with moisture type of situation, but they feel insanely light on the lips. There is very little transfer off, maybe a little bit if you are applying pressure to your lips and kind of tugging at it. You know, you can pull off a slight bit of color. They don't seem to have a fun wear down on me, which I think is because the color is so opaque, you're not putting on a really thick, heavily applied amount of stuff. So the thin layer of whatever shade you have on seems to wear down pretty well. And the ultimate test of this, before I could give this my full on like, yes, I'm really enjoying this, was the red shade in here. I wore that all day yesterday and I'm like, this will probably have that funky inner like ring on the lower lip. You know that horrible look that some lipsticks give where you see drastically like the wear down between your natural, almost inner type part of your lip and the color. That did not happen at all. It actually lasted amazing through a lot of chips and salsa. And by day's end, there was a little fade there in the center of the lower lip, but it honestly wouldn't have even been anything that caused me to think I need to wipe this off and start over or I need to touch it up in any way. It didn't even call for that. So I don't know what the deal is with these melted mattes. Apparently I haven't given these enough time or attention over the past couple years that they've been out. But the formula for a matte liquid lipstick actually impresses me. And I've never come out and said like every single formula of matte liquid lipstick is bad because there have definitely been 
been some that I've liked, but I guess I need to add these to that list because they are really, really good. And the packaging here, I've got them inside in a different order, but this is very cutely done. I like how they've got the little stockings there. Everything is scented and it's very accurately scented too. I'd be lying if I said the fun scents and themes of this kit aren't drawing me in and really impressing me. So we've got the um, sugar cookie, the hot buttered rum, the pumpkin spice, and then the cinnamon bear. The two in the middle, you may be concerned, are those two shades really close? And I would say no, there's a definite difference. And it's the level of orangey warmth that really does set those two apart once you see it on your lips. But let's start off with nude with sugar cookie. It does have a very kind of vanilla-y cake type scent, which I love. And I was so impressed with how fully opaque this nude went on. I was expecting streaky. I was expecting just for it being so light that I wasn't maybe going to love the look, but it actually looks gorgeous. This one dries down just a little deeper than it initially applies. I don't notice that with the other three, but I do notice it with this, but I love the look and I would totally wear that nude. I think it's very, very pretty. And again, the festive kind of fun idea with the sugar cookie scent, it's wonderful. The next deepest I would say is the hot buttered rum. And by the way, I've got a link to the vlog where um, Pup and Jeff and I were talking about the butter rum lifesavers because that's hilarious. But this totally accurately smells like the butter rum lifesavers and I really like it. I like scented lip products, you know? I think that is a place where scent really makes sense. It makes sense more to me there than in a foundation or an eyeshadow palette even. Bakey's scratching at the door just a second. That's new. She usually doesn't want to be part of this. But anyway, I would describe this as you want back out? This is kind of like a rich, neutral, kind of a caramely shade. It's not too warm. You're gonna see the real warm difference when I go to the next color, but I love it for this time of year. I am going to so love this with so many of the spicy eye looks that I like to do this time of year. This might be my favorite shade in the kit. I'm not sure if I can really commit to that yet, but I love it. I think it's so wearable, so easy, and just the kind of color people want this time of year. But moving into the next shade, we have pumpkin spice. So what is a holiday? Holiday kit without some pumpkin spice and yes it actually does really have that scent. And to glance at them in their tubes, they do look really close. But Pumpkin Spice definitely has more warmth. It has more oranginess going on in the look. Absolutely love the shade. And I think everybody who loves like peachy shades or the corally shades and oranges in the summer, this is like your perfect transition type color into fall and winter. The deeper, richer, more terracotta brownish orange. And so I really do like that. And sort of the bummer about this kit and one of the things that is really great about the Bite Kit it, they included shades from their normal line. Too Faced is going to have these special like limited edition shades in here. So if you love these, you may not be able to find them again. However, they did bring back Gingerbread Man again. So if these turn out to be wildly popular, maybe they'll make this a continual set. But I think sort of the charm of the collection is all of the cute little theming that they've done with it to make it holiday oriented. So our last shade in this kit is Cinnamon Bear. And can I just tell you, it's thrilling to have that yummy cinnamon scent in a lip product and not have it be stinging your lips like a lip plumper because normally that's what we get, right? This I was expecting to be a little bit more of a, like a soft, warm, spicy red, but it actually comes off on my lips as a real true rich red, which I think is really nice to have around the holidays and very nice to have in a matte long wearing formula. I feel very very comfortable wearing a red in a matte on my lips. 100% not concerned about it floating outside the lip line. And like I said, the biggest staying power test was with this one because this one was gonna have the greatest contrast with my own lip color. And so I didn't wanna see that ugly wear down and it didn't have that at all. And I think it has to do with the fact that these go on in a very thin layer on your lips. That thinness makes it wear down in more of a natural way. Not so much like here's a separate layer of something sort of peeling and chipping off of my lips, you know? So I'm liking the formula. I'm liking the color scheme. I'm liking the whole like scent and cuteness factor of all this. And I just thought that kit was surprisingly well done. And I was surprised at how enjoyable I found the formula to be on my lips if I'm gonna wear a matte. And one thing that I wanted to mention, Gingerbread Man is back again. They also have a Gingerbread Girl, which I don't have, but it looks like it's a little deeper than Gingerbread Man. But if you do already own Gingerbread Man and you're wondering, 
just out of curiosity how that compares to, you know, like these middle two here. I would say it's deeper than both of these by quite a bit and even more reddish orange compared to that pumpkin spice shade. So don't be worried about getting a straight up overlap if you already own um, Gingerbread Man. But you know, if these turn out to be really popular, like I said, maybe they'll like put them out in full size next year or who knows because I know Gingerbread Man was much loved and it's back again. But yeah, guys, two really cool lip sets. I think as one who has bought the Bite lip kits year after year, this didn't really shock or amaze me. I think it is a fantastic formula and I can't take anything away from that. But there's a little more excitement factor for me with this. Maybe it's just my surprising reaction to that formula overall that's just got me like, what? But I also love all the shades and I love all the scents too. So in a nutshell, I think we got two positive reviews here, one a little more surprising than the other. But what I would love to hear from you, everyone, is your feedback on those if you've tried them, but also your requests, um, different holiday kits that you've been running across lately. Uh, what are you most interested in seeing reviews on? I've got a lot of different things. I tried to get some things from the brands that you often see me review, but also branch out a little bit beyond that into some lines I don't try as much of, but let me know your requests because that'll help me really figure out what to post first. So thank you for your time, everyone. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you soon. Bye.